Hi, Scorpio. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Thank you. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Scorpio, it looks like, um, so the cards that I pulled off camera for you are self-awareness, experience of one's own personality or individuality. Your spending habits are outrageous. Get on a budget. Okay, you've got catty, petty, dramatic, and gossipy or warmonger. Okay, we've got deciding to accept the BS relationship. Hashtag I give in. Okay, so it looks like somebody is um, somebody is very dramatic. Somebody is just filled with drama. Someone gives the other person a headache, but they're deciding to just accept the relationship. They don't see any way out, or they don't see that they can find anyone else. Um, someone is just not aware of how toxic, how taxing they are to other people how um, they come off to other people i heard like usury okay or maybe things are one-sided okay so let's start to clarify what is uh self-awareness who needs self-awareness here okay knight of pentacles and the three of cups so it could be someone who has a lot of different friends they keep up a lot of different energy they're you know maybe they have siblings they talk to um, they're all over the place. A lot of girlfriends. Um, someone just doesn't know how they come off to other people. Maybe that they um, are a bit snooty, snotty. Um, maybe that they're only dedicated to themselves. Um, they only do for themselves. They, they're not a giver. It could be that they kind of use or they abuse. Okay. Hmm. It could be you. It could be someone else. We've got Taurus coming up. We've got Cancer. We've got Gemini. So it's like um, maybe you feel like someone is just not aware of how self-centered they are. It could be you. It could be someone else. Spending habits are outrageous. Get on a budget. Okay, let's see. Let's talk about the spending habits and how they're outrageous. All right, Knight of Cups. Yeah, so someone, you know, does the emotional spending, maybe even emotional eating, overeating, overindulging. Um, someone just doesn't know how to maintain their money. They have unrealistic expectations with their money. Um, someone needs to get on a budget. Um, someone tries to romance other people, be romantic, spending on other people. Yeah, it's only going to lead to collapse and having to maybe work harder for your money. This could be you, Scorpio. You're coming up in your own reading. So it's like you need to be consistent with maybe paying off debts or getting out of debt, or having balance in your money and your finances. Um, some of you could be in the legal profession, okay? Um, it, the money comes in fast and it goes out just as quickly. Let's see, catty, petty, dramatic, and gossipy, a warmonger. Who is this? The page of swords so definitely you could be the subject of gossip you could be a gossiper this is somebody here who is they want to know they want to know just so that they can know they don't want to do anything with the information they don't want to help but they just want to know everybody's business this is somebody who's petty gossip immature um they're tactless tasteless with their communication it could be you okay could be someone else. This doesn't lend to your personality. Yeah, someone who's very eloquent with their words. Um, they like to sell themselves as something else. Yeah, as taking the high road, but they're really petty. And they're really a gossiper. Definitely could be you. Could be someone else. Um, they could. This is somebody who says, well, you know, I'm not in it. But they want to know everything about it. You know, that type of energy. Deciding to accept the BS relationship, I give in. So some of you are deciding to accept, you know, less than what you actually deserve or what you want. You've lowered your standards for whatever reason. What is this about? Deciding to accept the BS relationship. The four of wands. Yeah, something's come full circle. Seven of pentacles, two of wands. It's like maybe you thought the grass was greener on the other side. It wasn't. Or you feel like maybe you didn't find anything else. So you're back you put some distance between you and someone else, but you're back 
there's reunion reconciliation so yeah you went full circle you went around and then you didn't find anything better or you didn't find anything comparable so you're back you're accepting whatever this was initially okay they're saying go back to the self-awareness three of cups with the knight of pentacles someone just isn't aware of how they communicate their emotions or how they or the lack of communicating their emotions this could be a victim mentality this is early childhood education how they learned how to be the victim or this could even be someone snooty snotty feeling like they're better than what is this one more card for self-awareness either you need to get self-awareness scorpio or it's someone else Let's see. Or two of swords could be you could be someone else it's like somebody is just not aware they don't see with the two of swords they're in the dark about themselves about their emotions the moon is there so maybe your moon sign your moon side is kind of your personality um or how you express yourself emotions you know emotions like emo your how you express your emotions or emotion based uh, you know expression um you know, maybe your moon sign could be in libra maybe you're just not seeing that you're not as expressive or you're not as giving or it's forthright or it's as, um, you know, you know, it's telling people have to pull things out of you. Um, maybe you want to know everybody else's business. You got another Libra card. Um, maybe lazy in friendships or not giving enough or you're a taker, something about that. Or this is how people experience you or this is how you are experiencing someone else, okay? This is what I have for you, Scorpio. If it resonates for you, even one part resonates for you, let me know what part resonates for you down in the comment section. Uh, we got some challenging, you know, energy here, um, but it's all energy that can be shifted, changed if you want to. Um, make sure you're getting on top of your spending habits, okay? Maybe your spending habits are, you know, directly uh, connected to your emotions. Some of you learned this early childhood overspending, overindulging. Okay, so you might need to learn how to scale it back. This is what I have for you. Again, get your own personal reading at the website level. All links are below. You can ask a question by texting it to the number below right now. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Scorpio. Many blessings to you. Have a really good week.